Hi guys and welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be showing a user's snapshots. We'll display these snapshots on the user's show page. We'll kick off with a simple ERB template for adding a snapshot display to the user profile. Then we'll add snapshots to the seed data so we have something to display. So let's get started. As I just said, we're going to display snapshots for each user on their respective profile pages at show.html.erb. We'll also be displaying a running count of how many snapshots they've posted. Before we go any further, let's reset and reseed the database. And how do we do that? We say rails db colon migrate colon reset. Okay, perfect. Now let's reseed rails db colon seed. And this can take a few moments. Next, let's generate the snapshots controller. Rails generate controller snapshots, plural. Rails generate controller snapshots. Great. We're going to create a snapshot partial to display a collection of snapshots. Let's go to app view snapshots. So app views, where's views down the bottom snapshots okay nothing in here we're going to create a partial right click new file underscore snapshot dot html uh, wrong order html dot e or b there we go now i'm going to fill in some code here let me pause the video and come back in just a moment okay guys so here we are back and as you can see i've added in some code in this code, we've used a new helper method that's on line six. And that helper method is time ago in words. You can guess what this does. And as mentioned before, Rails helper methods are available throughout all views. We've also added CSS for each part of the snapshot. Now, what happens if on a single page, we have a huge amount of snapshots? So you're off doing your job and you're doing a great job and people are leaving you snapshots all the time. Well, let's call on our old friend, the will paginate method, and we'll implement this in just a moment. But before we add this method, there is something that we need to do first. Since we are still in the user's controller, but want to paginate snapshots, we need to pass an explicit at snapshots variable. So a snapshots instance variable to will paginate. What this means is that we have to define such a variable in the user's show action. So go to app controllers, left hand side, app controllers, users controller. Now in the show action, so on line 12, hit enter, at snapshots equals at user dot snapshots. Dot paginate page colon params square brackets colon page close square brackets close brackets perfect save that now our final job here is to display the number of snapshots for each user which we can do with the count method the count method does not pull all the snapshots out of the database and then call length on them as that would be very inefficient. Rather, it performs a calculation directly in the database to count the snapshots with a given user ID. With all of this in mind, we can now add snapshots to the profile page. Let's go to app views users, left hand side, app views users, where's users, here it is here, last one, and the show. Here we are. Now, let me pause the video once more, and when we come back, our snapshots will be in the code. See you in just a moment. Okay guys, here we are back. And as you can see, I've added a new code starting at line 11. Now, all of this should be very familiar to you. Apart from line 12, where we've used an if statement to make sure that an empty list won't be displayed when a user has no snapshots. So to test this out, let's do it the old fashioned way. Let's fire up a server, which I have running. As you can see here down the bottom, my server is running. 
Let's go into our application. I have it running here. And as you can see, I'm logged in as a test user. This test user has no snapshots. And as we just said, we have now have an if statement to make sure that an empty list won't be displayed when a user has no snapshots. That seems to be working perfectly. Okay guys, that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to seed our database with sample snapshots. Thanks for listening and I'll see you there.